Nobody asked, but I feel like I need to do a part two as well, just to kind of show what happened to the rest of the community. Because my grandmother was deeply affected, but she wasn't the only one. So I found a section that goes like kind of in the middle. It's my cousin Marty's house and then his neighbor. And a friend of ours, Steve Torrance's um, uh, auto shop. Marty's mom lives past the Mason's Lodge, which is that red building just on the other side. So you get an idea. And there's many, many houses that go on down here. And there's even um, a trailer court that runs back here. So there are literally dozens of homes in this area. I found this video of one of the local state troopers, um, Officer McPherson, who was trying to warn people about looters and the safety of trying to recover people and he was trying to keep people off the road but look at 81 highway 81 behind him i paused the video just so i could catch this frame because i didn't know if he wanted to be in this video but look look at all that it's all gone all those trees everything that you saw it's gone and this is my cousin Marty's house. Yes, there is a tornado fund for them, Shannon and Marty. And they just had twins, premature twins, that were just born right before Halloween. Did I mention they just re-renovated this house from the ground up and just finished the twins' rooms right as they were working on this? It's so disheartening. And this is the house that's left from one of my neighbors. Um, he and his wife uh, lost everything. And of course this footage, even more of 81, or what's left of it. As of yesterday, at least 11 people confirmed dead, and there's still people missing according to Facebook. This farm was right next door to Steve Torrance's uh, shop. The one that I showed at the beginning. Look at all the hay. And footage of the tornado that rampaged through Bremen. And last I'll show you this aerial footage that was taken um, from a news report in um, Louisville as they were passing through heading to Mayfield. And the reporter described it as a bomb going off. And that's the story of what happened to the rest of Raymond.